Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your legs from ordinary to smooth, silky, and glowing in just four easy steps. So, if you want to know what my steps are, do keep on watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe below, and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. So hey guys, starting off from the scratch, let's get into this video. I'm about to do this routine and I'm going to walk you guys through it, everything I do so you can incorporate it in your routine, especially when I'm going out for like a date or something and I want my legs to really pop on the clothes I'm wearing. This is the routine I do, it works instantly and it's very easy to do. So I'm doing this outside the shower so I'm using a damp cloth to open up my pores. For step one, we're going to start with exfoliating and you, you need a scrub for exfoliating. You can also DIY your body scrub but personally for this video I'm going to be using a body scrub I bought from a company called Naganics. This is my favorite thing. It causes your skin to glow literally and they ship anywhere in the world so you could go check them out. It's www.naganics.com So I'm using this um, glove sponge thingy to use to apply the scrub. It's also quite on its own and it really helps to exfoliate the skin and to polish it an extra bit. So I'm going to be using it to apply that scrub to the body. So I'm just going to start applying the scrub to my skin and really buffing out the dead skin cells but you need a wet skin to scrub it, your skin properly so I'm adding some water to activate it just like I'm in the shower. Exfoliation is key to a smooth silky skin generally and for your legs because it helps to get rid of dead skin cells that must have accumulated over time. These dead skin cells cause dull complexion and causes the skin to be coarse as well as they obstruct your skincare from working properly. So I'll be applying my scrub in these upward motions and using the glove. This is because this motion is one that professional spas use to like polish skins of clients because it helps to really activate the lymphatic system underneath the skin the lymphatic system is known to host toxins excess fluids and it doesn't know how to drain itself and it's situated underneath your skin so using like coarseness or dry body brushing to just like go up or through your legs or your body towards the heart helps to improve circulation blood flow and just help the lymph to drain all those excess toxins and fluids and as a result your skin glows your skin is healthy because it's kind of detoxing itself so i'm just going to do it to the other leg pay attention to my nails especially exfoliation has been the best to help me combat dark nails altogether so after I'm done, basically if I'm in the shower, I'm going to wash this off. But for the sake of this video, I'm using my damp cloth to get off the excess. Which didn't even do the job good enough. So I ended up going to the shower to wash my legs properly. This is just step one. We are through with the exfoliating process and you can see the difference in what my legs look like prior to when we started already and it's, it's just amazing. Exfoliation is key guys. The step, second step is shaving or hair removal because this is an instant look like it's shaving I go for but personally for a long term I like to wax. If you want to know how I wax I'll link the video in the card above you could click that and go watch. For shaving, I love to use men's razor, unlike your expensive female razors. Men's razors are usually disposable, so there are a lot of them. I buy them, I use it once, and I get rid of it. I don't like the idea of using one um, razor over and over again. I don't just like it, but I will look into it. 
Of course, before you shave, you need to prep your skin, prep your legs, apply an aid, a shaving aid to just help to soften the hair, hydrate the skin, and just prepare it for the friction of the razor. And this also helps in turn to like give you that smooth, silky skin. Because when we are talking of smoothness, a hair-free leg is the next thing. You can't have hairy legs and have and seek to have smooth skin. So we are moving on with shaving. And I'm just going to get go ahead to shave off my entire legs. So guys, I want to use a little bit to talk about the dark spots and the amlatin lotion. If you watch my last dark spots video, guys, you can see that this lotion and that strategy is working very well. Like my spots are at the point of being almost gone. Like they faded a lot comparing to what we started with in that video. And I'm really here for it. And I've been really lazy. I've not been using it every day. So if you are using the Amlactin lotion, I'd like to know what are your results. So guys, after I'm done with the shaving process, I head to the bathroom and I wash off the excess shaving cream and all of that. At this point, I don't have any creams, no oils on my legs and you can see that the, my complexion, my skin is already coming through. It's really glowing, looking silky and it's more crazy when you touch it because it's the smoothest thing ever. So we are now hopping to the next step and it's a step three, which is to moisturize. When you're out of the shower, the pores are open and your skin is just ready to take in any moisture. It's the best time to moisturize. A very hidden tip I'm going to tell you is to make sure your moisturizer has the first product as water. And I'm just laying the goodness on my leg and I'm just going to be moisturizing that into my skin the warmth from the shower and the softness of our skin will allow the pores to really take in all that moisture as a result it's going to soften your skin even further more and make it appear really smooth feel smooth soft glowing and silky <music> this point is now time to seal in all that moisture which is an oil this is a simple hack and a special trick of mine is to get coconut oil to seal in all that moisture and that my friend is the final fourth step which is to seal i prefer coconut oil because it's dense enough compared to other oils to like lock in that moisture and give you this for almost 24 hours and the thickness also helps to give your skin this amazing glow. It's also skin nourishing. The benefits of coconut oil are endless. They are endless. It literally feeds your skin. So I'm just going to be applying that to seal in all the moisture and all that goodness. <music> So that's it for my first step routine. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to discuss with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, it makes me know the kind of videos you guys like. And until next time guys, love you.